Changing the permission scheme will apply the stricter permissions we configured in the prior lab. For example, only project administrators can manage sprints. Changing the notification scheme will cut down the notifications sent to reporters. First, let's change the permission scheme. We'll open the default software scheme and we'll click Actions, use a different scheme, and we'll select this Dev Permission Scheme and Associate. Now let's go to the Notifications page and again we'll click Actions, use a different scheme, and select the Dev Notification Scheme. Now let's change the workflow scheme to the dev workflow scheme. Let's go back to the project and we'll view the active sprints page to see where issues are in the workflow. We can see that there are a number of issues in the to do, working and done columns. So let's go to project settings to the workflows page and let's view the workflow in diagram mode. Here we see the to do, working and done statuses. Now let's go to our other browser tab in the Rocketeers app project. And here we'll go to our workflows page. And we can see it's using two workflows. Let's look at the dev code workflow in diagram mode. This one's used for stories, bugs and feature requests. And it uses a to do, in progress, in code review and done custom workflow. Let's close this and we'll view the dev task workflow. This is for all unassigned issue types and it uses a simple to do in progress done workflow. So there are a few differences between the workflows. Let's close this. Back on our tools tab, we'll close this workflow and on this workflows page, we'll click switch scheme and we'll select the Dev Software Simplified Workflow Scheme and Associate. For each issue type in the Dev Workflows, it shows the tool's workflow status working that needs to be mapped. It also suggests a status to map to in the Dev Workflows, which is to do. Statuses that are the same in the workflows are mapped automatically. But don't just accept the defaults and click Associate because by default, all statuses in the original workflow will be mapped to the first status in the new workflow. That's often not what you want, and it isn't what we want in this case. You only need to map the statuses of issue types that have issues of that type currently in workflow, so you can ignore the ones with zero next to them. Once we've completed the new association, if a new issue is created, it will use one of the new workflows, so no mapping is needed. This mapping only applies to issues currently in the original workflow. So for each of the issue types with issues currently in workflow, that is, those with a number greater than zero, we'll map working to in progress. So for story, for bug, and for engineering task. And then we'll click Associate. And once the migration is complete, we'll click Acknowledge. Now we see the issue type Story, Bug and Feature Request are using the Dev Code Workflow. And all remaining issue types are using the Dev Task Workflow. Now let's navigate to the Screens page. And we'll change the Issue Type Screen Scheme to the Dev Issue Type Screen Scheme. We'll click Actions. Use a different scheme and we'll select the Dev Scrum Issue Type Screen Scheme and click Associate. Now let's expand each of these schemes. And we can see that bugs now use the Dev Scrum Bug Screen Scheme that uses the Dev Scrum Create Bug Screen. Also, we see that all other issue types use the Dev Scrum Default Screen Scheme that uses the Dev Scrum Default Issue Screen. Now let's go to the Fields page and we'll change the Field Configuration Scheme to the Dev Field Configuration Scheme. We'll click Actions, use a different scheme, 
We'll select the Dev Field Configuration Scheme and Associate. Now we see that bugs use the dev bugs field configuration and all other issue types use the default field configuration. Let's return to the summary page. And we can see the new dev schemes. We see the dev scrum issue type scheme. We see the dev software simplified workflow scheme with the two dev workflows. We see the Dev Scrum Issue Type Screen Scheme with the two Dev Screen Schemes. We see the Dev Permission Scheme. We see the Dev Field Configuration Scheme with the Dev Bugs and the Default Field Configuration. And lastly, we see the Dev Notification Scheme.